They're all gone. Or are they? That is today we check in with the Sundaria VTuber Agency at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific last night making this announcement, saying it is with deep regret, sadness, and heartache that I must announce that effective January 25th, 2023, Sundaria as a VTuber agency will be dissolved. Sundaria was the first VTuber agency to cater to a Western audience and played a key part in bringing the medium to a large largely new culture outside of Japan. We launched four generations of talent over the last three years. Unfortunately, we no longer have the resources to continue our operations. All current Sundaria VTubers will keep their identities and channels. In addition, the Soon Dream Discord server will remain. Please continue to support every single one of them. They are all wonderful content creators and wonderful people. Sundaria as a company may be gone, but the legacy is created will live on forever i cannot thank you enough for being part of it signing off for the last time founder of sundaria ppp this is we're now checking in with the remaining members of this agency including your favorite worst nightmare lisa giving us this letter saying hi there everyone in accordance with sundaria's most recent announcement i will be pursuing my activities independently while i'll always be eternally grateful for all the opportunities i had during my time at sundaria i had a eventually been tasked with more than what I was responsible for as a talent. It became difficult for me to withhold everything with consideration for my own personal matters and obligations. So consequently, I knew it would be in my best interest to leave. Regardless, I have nothing but immense love for my fellow talents and wish them nothing but the absolute best in their future endeavors. Going on to add, bittersweet to end this chapter, but extremely grateful to start a new one. I'm thankful that sheeple have been really kind about the news, but it'll be business as usual so don't stress too much okay even in the end i'm trying to keep a strong face i guess that's just how it is further along we have tomoya your resident bunny saying in light of the announcement i would like to thank you all for supporting my time as tomoya from sundaria soon dream going forward i will no longer be continuing my activities as a sundaria affiliated talent and further reacting oh crap now i have to change all my description stuff no my lazy description copying for all my streams and also thank you everyone for your support i hope as some changes come as an indie the kindness will remain the same i can guarantee i will be more unhinged the shackles are off i am cringe and i am free without it poorly reflecting on others as much now we also had tetsuya kazune confirming i am now an independent vtuber saying i would like to reiterate that nothing will really change with my content and i will still stream as kazu i would like to give my thanks to Sundaria for hiring me and giving me a chance in this industry. Sundaria and the staff here have been nothing but wonderful to me. While it is bittersweet, I hope the news is not too sad for everyone. The Sundaria talents are still close behind the scenes and we will still goof off with each other as always. Also with Sundream, we had Nen, the Dream Eater, writing in this notes app. Hello, my name is Surugi Nin, the pretty boy Dream Eater of Sundaria's third generation Sundream. Asking, how do I delete columns on this app and giving us this quote it was all just a dream a soon dream anyways shout out to sundaria and also to whoever is reading this sincerely ren and later in all seriousness i'm not really sure what my plan is because my mind is still a mess from everything please be kind and give me a bit more time next we have your friendly neighborhood spider mom amia saying hi dream weavers i'm sure you've seen the recent announcement regarding sundaria and that i will be continuing my activities as an independent VTuber. Although it's scary, I know with your support and my own hard work, I will be able to keep my content exciting for you all. Sundaria has done many positive things and afforded me many opportunities over the year, or so that I've started my VTubing journey, and my colleagues and managers have given me a lot of invaluable guidance. I can't thank Sundaria enough for taking a chance on someone with no prior experience such as myself. There's also been a lot of turbulence during my time in Sundaria, and it's been difficult at times on a personal level. My focus going forward will be stability for myself and Dreamweavers. Outside of Soon Dream, we also have the Gen 2 talent Hanabi, a wolf VTuber chilling in the rainy town, sharing for the time being, I'm still processing everything that's going on too. So please be patient and give me some more time for an official statement from my end. I will be back to rainy town in a little bit. And speaking of former Sundaria talents, as reported yesterday, here we have Inokai Pyorin, who just threw 
three days before the end of the actual agency itself had said farewell herself, Sundaria giving this short notice, saying we'd like to extend our appreciation to Pyorin for being one of our first VTubers in Generation Zero of our brand. Pyorin will still be active on her usual streaming platforms and Discord server. We wish the best for Pyorin's future. And also just days before that announcement, we had this announcement of staff changes, with Sundaria saying it is with a heavy heart that we announced that managers Ray and Mist will be stepping down from their staff positions with Sundaria. Mist would respond to the closure of the agency with, I stepped out a little bit before all this, but missed the timing to say goodbye properly. It is bittersweet, but please continue supporting all Sundaria talents of the past and their independent activities. Ray would tweet, as of today, I have officially resigned from Sundaria, simply receiving this yes from Kazu and this about time from Nen, with Ray saying, you're next, and Kazu responding, see you soon, Ferendo. This being nearly four days before the closure of the agency itself, and possibly giving us an insight that, once again, many were expecting this closure to come. As Kazu also shared, now is the perfect time to post this. That's right, it's all the members of Soon Dream just having a good time with one another. And oh no, it was all a dream. A Soon Dream. Plenty of others formerly with the agency have also chimed in, including Miori Celesta, saying best of luck to everyone on their future endeavors. I'll forever be grateful to the company for allowing me to meet so many wonderful people. It'll always have a special place in my heart. I only wish everyone the best. Adding the stuff I worked on while I was at Sundaria was still some of the best and proudest things I've ever released. And I'm happy I was able to work on projects with so many talented and lovable agency mates. I hope we can work together again soon. Also formerly with Sundaria was Yuna, who likes bread, titty, and you. Sending out this warning. In light of a lot of recent events, you all should have decency as viewers and empathetic people. Instead of vaguely suggesting a talent go contact someone else in the industry or immediately jump to another company, support them wholeheartedly wherever they go to now. Do you not have any shame? You're putting people in a hard place as well with probably others they have good relationships with. When they're ready to pursue something new, they'll be ready. Your off-topic suggestions will change nothing. Truly grateful I met everyone I did through Sundaria. I hope you success wherever you all go and that you'll always be happy. Change is scary, but you guys got this in the bag. When you're ready to go on to your next thing, everyone has your back. This as Amia also chimed in, I'm getting irritated. Please stop telling me to join other companies. These type of comments have infiltrated my YouTube, Marshmallows, and now my throne suggestions. I won't say it again. For those of you who were and continue to be respectful to me, much love and thank you. Adding, please show some respect. This is not team sports. It's not a game. It's my life. One of those VTuber agencies that numerous viewers were wondering and speculating and advising and recommending was FaZe Connect with their founder, Sakana, stating to people who say they love playing Minecraft in their audition videos, I can see through you. This as the agency has brought in other VTubers who were formerly a part of another agency calling it the FaZe Invaders, including Kaneko Lumi with this star thief VTuber sharing YouTube blocked my entire VOD. With the actual message reading, this video contains copyrighted material. As a result, it has been blocked worldwide. With Lumi herself saying, too much DMCA music. Also, as part of the phase invaders was Yuri, a chuny snow angel, giving us this look and saying, love you all. I hope this pleases you. Along with, they don't know I'm secretly a goose. A silly goose. In addition, Yuri would update us, my art tag has been ruined. This particular art tag sharing a spelling very close to a popular German tank, which is making its rounds in the worldwide news at this time. Yuri further saying, this is unfortunate, but I think we may be able to revert this down the line in the future. And giving us this important change for the foreseeable future, please use hashtag snow Leopard for any fan artwork from now on. Hashtag Leopard will be retired until hopefully people stop misspelling Leopard. This as Phase Connect is also celebrating a happy Lunar New Year, saying may the year of the rabbit bring you much luck and happiness. That's right, it's also Pipkin Pippa from Phase Connect, with this pink rabbit VTuber seeing here in this animated work from Kuromo at Kuromo Kuromo. And
and it has happened at last. Her IRL Oshi Asmund Gold has noticed her. Being featured in this video, this VTuber wants to date Asmund. This as earlier Pippa was being begged to please answer her DMs. As also next up, we have Idol, a VTuber agency that produces and represents VTuber talents around the world, giving us this date of February 15th and saying a familiar face is joining Idol. This being a part of their star project and many wondering if this is an existing VTuber joining the group as even the founder was asking, but who? And then it being pointed out, dude, you literally hired them as some speculation was going around that it was actually Hyorin as here we have her silhouette. And yes, while there may be an Ohoge and possibly some floppy ears now with antennas of some kind on them, it may not be this dog tuber after all, as we do have this confirmation from the founder saying the project star Talon isn't from Sundaria. Please don't bother them at a time like this. Then leading to other speculations, such as bros, they poached Gura. Yes, that's right. It's Hall Live English's Gal Gura, who has been on quite a hiatus since the beginning of December, but is still receiving loads of fan artwork anyway, such as this animated piece from Tekaru, or this Chainsaw Man edit of her Dino Gooba form, that from Wurzman. And here's the news we would have loved to have shared yesterday as it was only at the time of recording in a members only post. But now we have it here officially. Gal Gura saying, hi, Fishy returned to streaming before Valentine's Day. Also big news. You may have heard, but Japan, I am inside you. Huh? What? Then in Japanese saying, hello, everyone. Is there anything good to eat? Hungry. I have so much to talk about. This leading to fun speculation such as Chian Gura date. That is, we're also checking back in with Nina My Inanis last night on stream confirming she is back in Japan having returned home for only two weeks, washing her clothes and throwing it right back in her luggage. She did confirm that she is there on hand, giving Gura her daily head pats and at times, yes, working as a translator. This while the two are preparing for the fourth fest. And in addition, we received a video of Gura and someone else jamming out at a karaoke. That's right, it's Takanashi Kiara, today taking the stream to talk about her time with Gura and and Ina and others. Others that also include her Hall Live Japan senpai as they went out and indulged in this Hall Live collab goodness. With Kiara sharing even more photos saying I got some merch from it too like coasters and clear files. Thanks for the great food. Kiara has also been very busy with Fire Emblem Engage even tossing on this wig with Tara giving us this and saying nice wig boss. That is also today Kiara was individually reaching out to different Fire Emblem Engage engage voice actors one after another after another after another that is coming up soon on the 27th kiara will be a part of this that's right revealing the fourth fest new idol outfits alongside tsukina sora of hall live japan and irony eo 15 of hall live indonesia further along with hall live english we have heikos bells as here we have this illustration of the chaos rat by way of han chu that all while bay performed a Twitter space, allegedly from an onsen, as also caught listening was Hall Live English's Amelia Watson. And now we have this announcement from Bay, that being the Ministry Host Club, with Bay simply saying, soon. That not only getting the attention of Iris, but also Series Fauna offering up these engagement rings and being offered another one in return by Hall Live Indonesia's Anya Melfisa. And now we're turning to Viugen, the artist VTuber team. Animated here as Viugen is introducing the Viugen desktop wallpaper, fully available for download, saying now you can have all the girls up close. And if you want to see them even more up close, we have this announcement. Guess what? Viugen will be at Dakota. Komi 2023. That being Germany's biggest anime and Japan Expo. Being held from 30 Juni to 2 Juli. That's right, June 30th to July 2nd. As Takomi would say, we are very happy to welcome VTuber group Viugen at this year's Takomi. Meet your favorite VTubers live, get some awesome merch, and show your support. As we are supporting Yuni, illustrator, VTuber, and 2D artist of Viugen, reacting with Sussy Viugen at Takomi. As she was also giving us this 
this long face, memeing it up with let me do it for you, and then dropping on us this announcement. That's right, she's getting a plushy release with makeship, just like so many of the other Vyugan girls, complete with the date of January 28th. More on that soon, as very quickly we're also turning to Vyugan's Yoshi, teaming up with Novel Horizons, informing us pre-orders opening up on Friday, January 27th for our Yochi scale figure on our website, NovelHorizons.com. And regarding Rai, the big snake, we have confirmation here. Rai will no longer be sold as part of a deluxe variation of the figure. Instead, it will be available for purchase as a separate accessory. That is now finally, we're turning back to one of our co-hosts. It's Cody, delivering up even more things VTubers say. ko hi yo We kick off today's Hello JP news with the comet Oshimachi Suise, who recently was celebrating 5 million views of her performance on the YouTube channel, The First Take. But at the moment of this recording, it has already far surpassed that count with 6.4 million views. During the initial stream, 160,000 people were waiting for the live premiere, placing it in a record for the highest number of concurrent viewers in the history of the channel. On top of this, Suisei's long-awaited second album, Spectre, has just launched, with advertisements going live in iconic parts of Shibuya, such as the Scramble Crossing and Miyashita Park. Some of the songs from the album have been featured on various playlists, such as YouTube Japan, AWA Official, and Apple Music Japan. The album itself has charted in number one on the Mora album chart, number seven on Apple Music Japan's album chart, and number one on the iTunes general album chart. Stores nationwide have been creating elaborate displays for the release, such as Animate, who are also giving away an exclusive poster and duplicate signature attached to the sales. Meanwhile, Shibuya's Sutaya Game Store is giving away a large size bromide whenever you purchase the album, and even mainstream stores such as Tower Records have their own huge displays. In fact, Tower Records is the only store where you can get Suisei's hand-signed autograph with your copy of the album. Additionally, on the 28th of January, Suisei's second live concert, Shouting Crisis, will be taking place in Tokyo Garden Theatre. Due to high demand, a second batch of sales for the merch has just been released, so grab those while you still can. Tickets are available for the concert, and overseas bros aren't left out this time as you too can purchase tickets to watch the concert via a live stream. Outside of music, Hoshimachi Suisei teased a brand new look for her model, which was revealed to be a new hairstyle, giving Suisei a short haired variation. Follow fan Itori did God's work by capturing the new look in all of its beauty. Our resident model and best girl Yago got in front of the camera to show off some of the fourth festival merch available for purchase. But speaking of Yago, we turn to Shishiro Botan, who was recently booted from the Hololive Minecraft server for spamming. Oh. Botan, as part of the comedic group Super Choco Lunatan, got together to create a clay model of Yago, with Botan saying, Today I was able to showcase my skills. I'm quite good at mixing colors. Meanwhile, Luna tweeted, I was so into it, I was sweating. So, how did it turn out, you ask? Well, Choco posted a lovely photo of the result, saying, Completed without a hitch, and giving us a headshot of Yago's cheeky little smile, which may or may not be cursed. What is cursed is Sakamata Chloe, but more specifically her handwriting, as she took to Twitter to deliver an announcement via a handwritten note, with fans desperately trying to figure out exactly what it says. One user was able to figure out three members of Holux, Zozo Town collab, please look forward to it, and subsequently saying, I'm not too sure, I can't be part of the decoding team because I've hit my limit. However, another user put their all into deciphering the code and came up with this. Five members of Holux are collaborating with Zozo Town. Look forward to the release of the limited merch that you can only get at this time. But it is not the only handwritten message that Chloe has sent out as we turn to Vark official who posted this message from Chloe and I have no idea what it says but what I can tell you is that Chloe and Iroha will be participating in a Cinderella switch in partnership with Vark on the 28th of this month moving on we have more announcements this time from the OG herself Takina Sora who has moved the time for her 1 million subscriber celebration stream forward by an hour to 9 p.m JST with the live stream fast approaching she has started to tease all of the guests appearing the first silhouette was announced on the 24th with fans taking a guess that this is VTuber Uni from Japanese music label Toys Factory. The second tease arrived on the 25th, shocking fans with the possibility that this is Niji Sanji's first VTuber, Tsukino Mito, and another guest was teased today, with fans thinking this is Fuji Aoi, a VTuber signed with Universal Music Japan. On top of all of these teases, Sora, alongside Kiara and Yofi, will reveal some new idol costumes in a live stream taking place on the 27th 
of January. But this isn't the only costume reveal. As we pop over to the degenerate, <clears throat> sorry, I mean the super idol Matsuri. Just yesterday, she teased a new outfit reveal. And it was not what anybody expected, as Matsuri received the monster treatment with some very interesting choice of eyes. Although this did lead to some very cute art, as shown here by Ayomi Subaru with a chibi version. And MN Hero tweeting this art saying, a funny woman who makes the creepiness of a monster hoodie into cuteness. And lastly, in outfit reveal news, we turn to Hololive Indonesia, as the whole gang will receive their kimono outfits, with the unveiling happening between the 3rd and the 5th of February. But that is everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you, Cody. And thank you all for supporting our Uwu Market merch drop, who is now featuring a monthly merch subscription box. Complete now for the first time ever with merch of the Kohai. That's right, it's Cody and Heidi, available on a t-shirt, poster, hat, coaster, vinyl sticker, and more, but only available until the very end of this month. Get it now while it lasts with the link below. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.